Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Professor, where we respond to viewers' questions on everything from culture to history, from the laws of economics to how you make a good constitution, architecture, looking for questions on architecture, I like architecture, if it's good, all these things that matter to us in building a decent society together. All right, that's not architecture, but you might like it because it has a lot to do with history. Unfortunately, it also has to do with Donald Trump, and it's from Andre, and he's asking about an article that he saw that, that says the closest analogy to Donald Trump is Henry VIII, and basically the point of the article was to show that egomaniacal regimes don't last. And he's okay. asking your thoughts on that. I think that is one of the consolations of history is that they tend not to. Henry VIII, in my mind, is one of the most dangerous monarchs in all of our history. Maybe less dangerous than King John, but maybe not, because Henry came to the throne during the Renaissance, at a time when the state was growing in power and prestige. And across Europe, increasingly absolutist monarchies were sweeping aside the rather feeble proto-legislatures or semi-legislatures that they had. And Henry tried to do the same thing to the English Parliament. And he came very close. At one point, he actually demanded, and, and he would threaten to behead MPs if they didn't do what he wanted, and he demanded that they pass a law saying that the king's decrees had the force of law, the same thing for which uh, Richard II had been deposed many years earlier. And Parliament was so terrified they passed the law, but they modified it cleverly to say, except on anything touching our ancient rights, liberties, privileges, and so on. So now you see it, now you don't. That took a lot of guts. But Henry was a, a larger-than-life figure, including literally, physically. He was an athlete, a wrestler, an imposing man. Uh, also, I mean, he lived large. Right? He had six wives, and he treated them appallingly. Uh, I could never figure out why anybody would want to be wife number five, looking back at the first four. You know, one of my rules of history is don't marry Henry VIII. But he, he also, I mean, he was grandiose. He got himself declared defender of the faith by the Pope, and then he decided that he was secretly the Pope of England. And he got away with it for a long time, partly through sheer audacity, partly through genuine gifts, partly through real scariness. But in the end, that kind of thing burns itself out. In fact, he lost control. The man who broke with the Catholic Church in England was horrified at the end of his life that everybody was reading scripture and commenting on it. Well, what did he think was going to happen? Uh, he let loose forces he could not control. And his dynasty actually led to a lot of misery in England. Although it did produce one great monarch, that is, of course, Elizabeth I, but she died without heirs, and then you got the Stuarts. The whole succession was thrown into a cocked hat by Henry's father scheming and marrying into the royal house of Scotland. Uh, Henry's foreign wars were useless to England, and in the end, you know, the Tudors left, I think, a harmful legacy rather than an attractive one. That is certainly true of Henry VIII. Now, as for Donald Trump, well, I mean, some of you know what I think about Donald Trump. The, I mean, he, I'm delighted that he defeated Hillary Clinton, who would have, her election would have been a very bad thing for the United States and the world. But that doesn't mean I wanted Donald Trump as president. He has this blustering, bullying, narcissistic way of overreaching, including on the repeal of Obamacare, where he just marched in and told the House Republicans what to do. It wasn't exactly the art of the deal, was it? And he's, he, you know, he seems to regard them as a bunch of debris that got swept into Congress in the wake of his mighty hurricane. But in fact, the Republicans in the last election, midway through Barack Obama's second term, reached levels of support, particularly in the House, they hadn't seen since before the Great Depression, since Herbert Hoover's first uh, and only term as president. So yeah, I do think that Donald Trump, uh, he's a blowhard. Okay, I know a lot of people like Donald Trump. I know they're very attached to him because they like what he defeated. They admire his willingness to stand up to political correctness. So do I. But the man is a pig. And I believe that he will do himself in by his vanity, his touchiness, his tendency to bully people, his playing fast and loose with facts. Uh, like Henry VIII, he is larger than life in his failings as well as in his virtues, and I do think it will bring him down. And I'm sorry because I don't know what the aftermath of it will be, but if a man is not fit to be 
head of the executive branch, whether it's the king or he's the president, then he shouldn't be. And we must all believe we could have found something better, we should have found something better. As a matter of fact, I mean, the whole Tudor thing was based on usurping the crown from Richard III by framing him for murdering his nephews. And things that begin like that never end well. The Trump presidency began a lot better than that, but I still do think that the parallels with Henry VIII, especially if nobody can go and say to him, you know what, you better watch out for this, are liable to prove very, very... Uh, harmful to his presidency, possibly even fatal to it. All right. So history might repeat itself in a good way this time. Yeah. And how many wives has Donald Trump had? I mean, that's, no, that's no, one no, of his no. warning Let's signs. Not go there. He, didn't, he hasn't had any of them executed. But still, there is a kind of a, a grossness about his appetites that ought to worry people. And I think worries a lot of people and even his supporters should be leery of them. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Folks, if you would like to play along and ask your question of the professor, go to the URL on your screen and everything there will be explained. Thanks, and see you next time.